Hello guys and welcome to another Buildcraft tutorial. Last time we in this kind of tutorial we talked about transport pipes but now we will talk about the fluid pipes. They are very similar but they are not as advanced as many of the other are but uh, it's still worth to go through them because perhaps you don't know about all the things that you can do. Okay let's get started with going through what you need and how they work and then I have a few examples later. First of all, how to craft them. Let's do this quickly because it may be, it may be different for all other mod packs or versions that you're running. So cook your cactus and convert your cactus green into pipe sealant. Then you can start to use all the normal transport pipes and convert them into the fluid pipes. So that's the same recipe for all. First of all, Let's go through the first two pipes and they are very similar because they are both extraction pipes, wood and emerald. As you can see we have 10 ml buckets per tick on the wooden one and the emerald is faster, it can extract 40 ml buckets per tick. There is also a filter function in the emerald pipe and I will demonstrate that a little later in the video. Next up we have three or actually four very similar pipes because they have work in, work in the same way as the uh, as the normal ones do. We have the cobblestone one, one connector stone and 10 middle buckets and of course the stone one won't connect to cobblestone, it's also slightly faster. This is the same thing as with items. Then we have the quartz pipe, it's doubled as fast again as the compared to the stone one and the golden one is 80 mil buckets per tick, so also double compared to the quartz. And they will of course connect with, well, anything. Then we have an interesting pipe, it's a sandstone pipe. It's not that fast, but it's good to have in tight spaces because it can only connect to other pipes. And have a small example of that over there to pass two tanks. Then it may be, but it will slow the line of course, if, in case you had, if you remember, this is 40 ml buckets per tick, but this is only 20. So here we will still have only 20 ml buckets per tick. But it's good to have in tight spaces if you need it. The iron one is in the normal, the normal transport pipe. This is a sort of, kind of a, not a sorting pipe, but it can direct items to go in one. You have several inputs and one output. And this can be done with liquids as well. And I will also demonstrate that. And we will also take a look at on the diamond fluid pipe. It's fast and it can sort, sort fluids. You have a filter function and it works very much the same as a transport pipe. Last, here you have the void pipe. Destroys fluids but only 10 millibuckets per tick, so even if you feed it with 80 millibuckets per tick with a diamond pipe or a golden pipe, it will only destroy them in 10 millibuckets per tick rate. So that's the overview of the pipes we'll take a look at today, and now to the examples. In this first example, we'll take a look on the, uh, the difference in speed. So here we have the extraction pipes, the wooden one and the emerald one. And the cobblestone one is matched to the wooden and we have the quartz as fast as the emerald. To do this you connect it to the tank and you don't have to be at the bottom. I think you had to do that earlier or in old versions of the build craft but it's enough to have it up here. And I have redstone engines very much in the same way as the uh, where are they? Over here, using a redstone engine to uh, extract items, but you can also use a, a pulsa pulsating gate. And we can do this with liquids as well. I will do that over there. But as you might know, it takes some time for these to get up to speed, but in a little while you will notice the, the difference in speed. And uh, in full speed, these uh, this closest lane will be four times as fast as the other one. It will very soon start to show up and we'll come back to this in a while. So in this contraption I have three tanks with different fluids 
they will all behave in the same way in uh, once they're in the pipe. So even if lava is slower in the in the world, it's uh, as fast as any liquid in the when it's in the pipe. So no, don't you worry about that. And I have, as I said, I have replaced the redstone engines with pulsars. And oh, look at this! We can already see now that when they're picking up to speed, the uh, yeah, it's basically just faster. That's that. So back to this. We have a sandstone pipe to prevent the connection. I have pulsating uh, gates on all of these ones. And to connect them all, I have an iron fluid pipe. And that's the important part of this. If you use a wrench, you can rotate it to set the input or output like this. So I want all these three to be inputs and output everything in here. Of course, you can't mix them. So if you just turn this on, and we turn this on as well. You can see they want to mix. Of course they want mix. But as soon as I turn this off, then you will see that the oil will start to flow. So it's very convenient and we can do it over here as well. Let's set it like this. And the same thing goes here as well. It's not until we turn that off the water can flow through. So let's take a look on the sorting pipe now. I set it up to lava to the yellow and oil to the green. So very, very basic, very logical. And I set the water to go up where I placed the void fluid pipe. And as you can see, the water is just getting voided. It doesn't go anywhere. And as soon as this is empty, everything will be gone. So basically you can use the same main pipe for lots of liquids and then just sort them into correct directions. So uh, I never used this myself, but I will definitely start to use it because it can be quite convenient actually. Now for the last example, we will take a look at another variant to do the uh, iron, pipe, iron pipe valve, they're called valve pipes. And uh, I set gates on these to, with specific conditions. And as you can see here, we have a condition below 50%, go north. And we can rotate this as we, as we want, depending on what's connected. So we have west, north and east. So that's west, north and east. So if we have less than 50%, then it should go north into the tank. And if we have tank fluid in the tank, then continue west. So now if we start this, this basically means that the tank should be filled to 50% roughly. It will be slightly more because of some leftovers in the pipe after it has uh, changed direction. And then we will start to fill the next one with 50% and 50% and so on. So almost 50% in all tanks. And I'll do a cut here and we'll check back in just a little while when we see how it looks. So some time has passed and as you can see the tanks are filling to, well, 50% and then it moves on to the next one. I think this can be quite convenient when you want to fill uh, engines or tanks. You can set specific conditions to always have a limited number to like even it out. I guess you can find uh, many more use cases. So you can see 16013, 16025 and 25, so 25 millibuckets extra is due to this, the small buffer in here when the gate is changing directions. So neat function with the iron pipe. And now as a last thing, as I mentioned way in the beginning, we will take a quick look on the emerald pipe and its uh, filter functions. If you right click on this part of the fluid pipe, you will enter the filter. And if I just put a bucket of lava in there, it's a ghost bucket. And I try to extract something, nothing will happen. If I do the same thing, oh, miss over here. Oh, I already had a bucket here. Of course, this will work because it did last time. And if I remove it, it will, will of course work as well. See, works fine. And over here, I need to change this filter to oil or remove it to make it 
empty the correct one. Okay, I think that's most of the things you can do with the fluid pipes. I uh, hope this was useful to you and um, I hope you have a good day. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.